Hello ladies and gentlemen, Big TFX here, here to bring you a new series, Wednesday's Web Crawls. Now in this series I'll be going through the funniest stories I can find on the internet and passing them on to you. So let's start with one which is surprising but also kind of disturbing. Um, a An X-rated film fan was watching a kinky film and he basically decided to reenact it. So a 39 year old man who was unmarried decided to start putting an eel up his arse. Now with the eel being quite slippery he lost well control of the eel <laughs> and it kind of went up his arse and stayed up there. Uh, he couldn't get the eel out and he went running to, uh, to the emergency room went in Turned on to the uh, medics and went, please, please help me, the eel is moving through my body. <laughs> a team of surgeons spent many hours trying to get this 20 inch eel, which almost weighed like half a kilo, and they had to get it out. Now, it did survive coming out of the, um, coming out of the man, but it did die soon afterwards. Uh, but unfortunately, that man who, uh, the 39 man, yeah, the 39 year old man has now been interviewed over alleged animal cruelty. I can see why, because that's, a, that's a not a nice way to go for an eel. I mean, where on earth did he get an eel? And secondly, what the hell possessed you to do that? Since eels have quite small, sh sharp teeth, which can really, really damage. Right, another animal story, and not as gruesome, so I'm quite happy with this one. All of them are animal stories, actually, today. It's going to be an odd one. A hamster comes back to dead. Yeah, the title reads: A hamster comes back from dead on Good Friday. Basically, um, Lisa uh, Kilburn Smith and her boyfriend James Davis, they were both looking after a pet hamster called Tink, while their friends, um, for their friends, when they came to the cage of the hamsters, and found it lying lifeless in the cage. They first of all they thought that it was dead, so they kind of they put it in a kitchen roll, they dug a foot deep grave and laid it to rest. The pet then had to kind of phone the owners and let them know that the two and a half year old uh, hamster passed away. On Good Friday, the hamster came back to life. Um, the hamster had eaten its way out of the paper shroud, dug her way out of the grave, edged along a narrow wall, climbed a waste pipe, and ended up in a recycling box. Now, that Mr. Davis uh, kind of claimed that he was being resurrected when he had to turn around to the owner and say that basically, here it is, the hamster that I told you it was dead kind of isn't. <laughs> um, so basically, this is how it went. She crawled, in when she got into the recycling box, she crawled into an empty car uh, cat food cardboard box which she slept in through the sub-zero night. Um, the following morning, um, that Miss Kelborn Smith father, called Les, went out that afternoon to flatten boxes for recycling and after crushing, I was like, yeah, he actually managed to crush her, her head popped out and he was quite startled. Um, so yeah, once they, they called the, um, the owner to say sorry, but kind of alive now. At first the owner thought he was taking the piss but yeah, it turned out to be quite true. <laughs> and the final story for today it's it's about a, a man with a phobia who managed to get 1.6 million dollars just because he scared of frogs. Which it's not bad going. A man called Paul Marinch Marina Chio, just gonna call him Paul. No one, no one's got a problem with that. It's called Paul. Uh, be a lot easier. <laughs> so Paul, Marinchino Senior, as his fully title is, basically from back when he used to live in Italy, he he got scared of frogs when he was chased away from uh, a vineyard with a man holding bullfrogs. Now th this was this happened. Um, a couple of days ago and basically he was he came home to find hundreds 
hundreds and hundreds of frogs on his property. Now what had happened was, um, a couple of a couple hundred meters away, there's a building property going on by Kiefer Enterprises, and they're building some properties. Now, basically, they when they were building them, the they were trying to push water away from the area and put it onto the developer's area of a ditch. Now they got the calculations wrong and it ended up, finding out later, that it ended up on Paul's, um, Paul's area, Paul's property, sorry. And basically because of the, the water coming down and the, tr the conditions, it turned into basically a swamp. Now, when he, he ended up going to court, and after many days of going between them and kind of realizing the jury kind of did favor in Paul's side that he did uh, did deserve quite a bit of money, although the amount was I think slightly too high, ended up ended up at 1.6 million dollars. There have been a couple of appeals since then to kind of get it reduced, and it has managed to be reduced by $250,000. So it ended up at $1.6 million, so originally it was what, $1.85, but it got down to $1.6. Now, for someone who was scared of frogs to come home to find hundreds of frogs around his garage, so he couldn't even get into his garage because it was full of them, mosquitoes coming around, you've got frogs which you are scared endless of. I've got to say that would probably be the most frightening thing you could come home to. But again 1.6 million, no. <laughs> Too far. Maybe damages and a bit of conversation. So anyway, I'm going to leave you with the video of a basic intro I created. Now the, re the reason behind showing you this basic intro is many. I've had a couple of people asking for um, intros and they don't know the difference between my basic intros and my complex intros and my complex intros um, two of them are very similar it's the, um, it's the one where it's in a I don't know how you describe it almost like a peace symbol where it's um, one of them's got balls coming down and going balls and the other one is sync edits that's my complex intro the one you're about to see is my basic intro so if you want in a basic intro this is reasonably similar you won't be getting the same one it'll be different but it'll be to that standard so thanks for watching this has been wednesday's webcat um so wednesday's web trolls hope you've enjoyed please leave a like if you want to see more from this series and goodbye